uh, when we looked up coming to Mammoth, everybody said, go in January. There's nobody here. Nope. So we'll take it. And we have snow on the ground. This is Mammoth Cave National Park in Bowling Green, Kentucky. It was 14 degrees this morning, but it's gonna be a good, good day for a tour. But I have my hat and I have my gloves. You can't see me smiling. Just learned something. East Coast National Parks don't carry our travel, the travel stamps. We just get to stamp it instead. I'll go online and buy another one. We're making progress with the COVID thing. The exhibit's open. <laughs> this is the world's longest known cave system covering over 400 miles that's mapped. But this is a cave map. All the yellow is the cave. Yeah, and look, the road, it ran under the road under right the road. there. This is gonna be fun. Wow. <laughs> Did you just call those popsicles? No, I said icicles. Oh, icicles. <laughs> icicles. Look at the popsicles. Said, look, at the pop look at the popsicles. <laughs> Briefly describe what we just learned about our cave tour from the nice ranger gym. The nice ranger guy. There is the fat man's ris misery where we have to go through a cave that's like this wide. And there's the section that isn't very tall. Of tall guy's misery. Tall guy's misery. So it's going to be a good a good adventure. I'm excited. How long is the whole hike? Oh, two miles. Which I didn't know. I didn't know that we were going to be walking that far. I'm glad I got my new hiking shoes on. Yes, yeah. you have hiking shoes. <laughs> Someone got hiking shoes. I'm so excited for my hiking shoes. <laughs> so we just had our safety discussion with Ranger Jim. <laughs> Not the most friendly of fellows. <laughs> so we're now descending into the cave. He gave us all kinds of instructions. He didn't tell us to be quiet, but I've noticed when we go into caves, everyone gets quiet. I don't know based on lighting how any of this is gonna turn out after this. So, who knows, this might be the last video I take. This reminds me of the lava tubes, in central Utah. How long is this tour? Oh, 90 minutes? 90 minutes. Yeah, I don't think you can see anything here. We're walking into this historic door and look at this. It's huge. This huge cave underneath here. What is this? History. It's not like you're on the history tour. I know, I want like information. <laughs> In the early 1800s, they mined in here to get sulfur oxide or whatever out of here. It's just gonna be a whole bunch of dark screens with our audio behind it. <laughs> We're walking down this cave and it's huge. And my phone seems to pick up the light more than the GoPro a little bit. So we're trying it this way, right, Anthony? Yes. yes. Um, but it's just this huge tunnel naturally dug out in here. I guess that's why they called it Mammoth. It was a 58 foot thing, one click. Oh, one, so okay. So that's 57 feet. Oh boy. <laughs> Our tour guide is a jerk. <laughs> He's an Just acquired taste. Say, no, there's no acquired taste. He says everything is like a passive aggressive condescending tone. That's true, that's his tone. <laughs> he thinks he's entertaining. He and wants look. us to sound, we feel like we're idiots. Well, look, he's giving us something to talk about on this tour. <laughs> we're gonna remember this cave we're and how awesome it is. This cave because of the tour guide. We're also gonna remember how much we don't like Ranger Jim. <laughs> oh, we got some water. And what happens when there's water in these caves? It keeps going down. down and I just got rained on. I know, I got what the heck? I didn't know this was a water ride. <laughs> oh. That goes way down to the pit of despair.
And here we go. Batman's misery. Ooh. You do gotta be skinny. How you doing? Doing well. <laughs> I'm getting my yoga in for the day. Yes. Maybe what we're really here for is the fun and adventure. It is the fun and adventure. That's why we do these. Oh, not the education? I like the education too, but it's better to have adventure with the education. And crawling through a rock cave is the adventure. Yep. Oh, good. Back in the 1850s though, if you were gonna sign your name, you did it in nice, clear block script. Yes, you did, and they all had the same block script. That's how, yeah. And so you can read it. Anything written after 1970? Yeah, you can't read it anyways. <laughs> Why bother? Why bother tagging it? Let's go through the evolution of history according to their tagging. <laughs> I'm sure someone's done that. I'm sure someone has done that. Well, we started the climb out. How many steps did he say? He said total 500 and something. For the whole tour. For the whole tour. And we're doing 185 here in a rebel, kind of. Yeah. But we're going to go through a room with a 200 foot ceiling. That's like tall. I got rained on a lot right there. Part of it. The water's coming from way up there. And down, down. Ooh, I'm getting rained on. Down. Cool. Going We're going up. This reminds me of National Treasure. <laughs> up we go. Up we go. We kind of made it to the top. We have a little bit more to go, but you can see down to where we were. Pretty good. We're walking out at the end of our tour. It was really cool. What was your favorite part? I'm not done yet. I don't know. It could <laughs> be right ahead of me. It could be right ahead of him. It's not right ahead of him. And we are literally seeing the light of day. So we're sitting here in the visitor center. There are several different tours. There was more available pre-COVID, and right now I know there's two that are down because they're doing repair work inside the cave. So there was four different cave tours that you could do. When we came in, there was one tour that still had open slots, but the rest of them were all sold out. Especially like during the summer, you wouldn't get any of the day of. So plan ahead. Well, the two that I signed up for, the historic and the frozen Niagara. Um, so we had our first tour at 10.30 and we got out at 12.30. And that one was just here local. We just were able to walk to it, walk back. So this time we get to ride the bus. We're going in. The side of the mountain. <laughs> That's what we're going into. We're not like going down into anything. We're going in the side of this mountain. Well, we'll see. Well, so much for not going down. Yeah, we're going down now. <laughs> Here, that without these, so many other types of life might not exist in Mammoth Cave. These are our conduit folks from this world to the one that we live in. Right? In the summer, spring, and in the fall, these guys will, under the cover of darkness, emerge from Mammoth Cave. They will crawl on the forest floor and they will forage on things like dead leaves and plants. They will eat fungus and dead animals. They're the cleanup crew for a part of it. 
and they will become fat and happy. And before dawn rises, they come back down underground to hang out in these passageways right here. I want to go on the boat ride. I know. Understand that, folks. We have to turn the clock back quite deeply. I'm going to take you all the way back to when what we call Kentucky today, and in fact, the entirety of. We're on the frozen Niagara tour, and we just came out to this big open room right here. It feels like a theme park ride with all the handrails and walk. Yeah. Walk yeah. There's gonna be a sweet ride at the end of this. <laughs> Carbonate often has this kind of yellow orange translucency to it. The people visiting Mammoth Cave in these days, they were not you and I. They were the upper crust of society. The well to doers, the people who didn't have to lift a finger for many things, right? It cost a lot to, to get to Mammoth Cave. It cost a lot to go into Mammoth Cave. So they named all these things fancy stuff that the common folk probably didn't. Drapery, that's a luxury back in, in the early 20th. And you don't mind to take over my jobs when you're done? Okay, I'll, you so I'll get you, I'll get you. Or at least I'll, I'll have one of somebody in the back pick up the slack. It will make you an honorary ring. Excellent. The historic tour is a lot longer. It's two miles. It's It was a two hour tour. Two hours. Anyways, I could sing it. <laughs> Three hour tour. It was a two hour tour. It took us way further into the cave. Our tour guide was awful. He was just this condescending, passive-aggressive, irritating dude. I think he was funny, but it was very dry and he was a little condescending in his style. It worked. I think at the end, lots of people liked him, but it doesn't go, it's, it's one of those personalities that can grate on some people's nerves. <laughs> Um, so the second tour, Frozen Niagara, we had a very delightful tour guide who gave us more history in our hour-long tour than the historic tour guide did. <laughs> Should we name these guys? The first guy was Ranger Jim. 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 And the second guy was Ranger Alex. Alex. And he was like a, <laughs> the National Geographic, like the Discovery Channel. And he was like, look at all of the lines in the rock. And those were not formed by man, but they were formed over centuries of time. Like he totally like, and he was going like this. And he was, he was so funny. He was good. He was really good. And he had lots of history for us, which I appreciate immensely. But there are two tours that we've learned about that we want to come back into. So there's this river that runs underneath where all the water drains down and it goes to this river. And there is the River Sticks tour that, very appropriate name, that takes you so that you can see that river. It's not a river like you see a flowing no. water. You'll see like a pool, but the water is moving through the caverns and through the pool. So it's that kind of river in that it's flowing it's water. It's flowing water. I just want to see it because it would be really cool and have a baby to dip in. Anyways. <laughs> Why would we dip a baby in, first of all? The River Styx! Second Achilles of all, was taken to the River Styx and dipped in. Do you not know the story? Where are we going to get this baby? Colin and Maddie. We're not. <laughs> If we found a baby, I doubt the parents of that baby are going to let us dip them in an underground river. 
Anyways, the other tour I want to do is the Grand Avenue tour, which is the biggest tour they have. Four hours, four miles, 1,300 steps that you have to go to. It's taking you deep down into the cave, and I want to come do that one. Those are the two I want to do, River Sticks and Grand Avenue. This was time well spent. You come at this time and it's not crowded and it's all underground anyway, so it was actually warmer in the caves than it was outside. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to say? Thank you, Ranger Alex. <laughs> I hope he sees this someday. I hope he does. <laughs> We've seen more wildlife here than we did in Yellowstone. Oh dear. <laughs>